All right, so you've heard kind of the beginning of the story. You've heard about the storage unit. You've seen our life, my wife and I, in regards to our home, begin to cultivate this journey, right? So storage unit was a real story that happened. But the next place we lived could only be great because you had previously lived in a storage unit. So we moved to an apartment up in Dallas, Fort Worth that was so tiny but not as tiny as the storage unit. The best part is that after our wedding, we had a bunch of you know wedding registry gifts, thankfully, that we were able to sort of return a bunch of stuff and load up our credit at Foley's so that we could go buy this huge multi-piece furniture set. Looking back, just absolutely hilarious. And it was so big and so overstuffed that you could barely walk in between the couch and the television at this apartment. But it was two bedrooms and it was two bathrooms and man, were we proud of it. We had all kinds of dinner parties and all kinds of game nights and we really, really enjoyed it. But from the very first day we moved into this place, we were beginning to plan to buy a home. I was getting into real estate, my wife was a CPA and we were trying to figure out what the future would look like. This apartment was not the plan, but it was a stepping stone to get there. So we began to look for the types of houses we can afford, and to be really honest, none of them were super appealing. So where we landed was we did find a property that we would love to have owned if somebody had redone it. But that somebody was going to have to be us. So we ended up finding a foreclosure that was a split level townhome that we were able to buy for $141,000. It needed a lot of love, but it did have a lot of potential. So this was the beginning of our very first two year flip. And what I mean by that, I actually later wrote a book about this, is when you're able to purchase a home, remodel it, live in it for at least two years, then you can go and sell it, at least as of right now, the tax code still allows for this. An individual can sell that home and get tax free profits of up to $250,000 of profit and a married couple can get tax-free profits up to $500,000. Our profits were not that high, but that's the tax code. So we bought this home, we had a crew come in, very low budget, remodel. We were able to live in it for two years. We did a lot of weekend projects like trimming out windows and adding some touches in the kitchen and painting some things. I rebuilt the bottom of some cabinets and I'm not a carpenter, but we did some things that we could do after we had professionals do what we needed to be done. We lived there for precisely two years. We put that home on the market a little bit before the two year mark. We actually sold it about a month before the two year mark, but did not close and fund on it until literally the day of, maybe one day after the two year mark so that our gains could be tax-free. Now, that was not our initial plan. Our initial plan was to get into a home that we could afford, that we would love, that we would wanna be in for a while. But as life does, things change. What we discovered was that really truthfully, we needed the money. We needed the money out of the house, the equity that we had built through the good purchase, a good remodel, and some good market activity. We needed that money more than we needed that home. So what that turned into, that little 1400 square foot house turned into uh, a 20 something hundred square foot, four bedroom, two and a half bath, two story home in Richardson. The townhome was in Lake Highlands. We then went to Richardson, which became another two year flip. We ended up staying six years. So it doesn't have to be two, it's just gotta be at least two. But that was our journey. That was that next stage of the journey was being in an apartment dreaming of home ownership so that we could get in the game. We could have ownership, we could build equity, we could have some control over what we do with the home uh, and what we do after we leave a home. So literally a two year journey of being a young married couple, working our tails off, loving that home, doing a lot of entertaining. I added a deck there, we did all kinds of stuff. And we were able to turn that $141,000 into about $80,000 of tax-free profit. That helped us get out of some debt, that helped us get into our next home with a good down payment and some cash for an additional remodel there, which actually later, we bought that house for $125,000, believe it or not, that was a real thing. That was also 
of foreclosure that had significant damage and needed a lot of love. We were able to do a big remodel there and ultimately sell that home later for two fifty. dollars So we had $125,000 of tax-free profit on that one. So back-to-back two-year flips. One was actually two years, one was six years. The reason we still call it a two-year flip though is because it was at least two years, which is where those tax-free profits kick in. We were able to capitalize on that and buy a property that ultimately has become this property. So I'll tell you more about that in future videos, but the next step from the storage unit was a little bitty apartment that felt huge because of the storage unit. I always tell people, don't be afraid to start small because you'll appreciate every step in the journey. We certainly did. We loved that apartment, but we were thrilled to enter home ownership in this little foreclosed town home that smelled bad, looked bad, and was bad, that we were able to make a place that smelled great, looked great, and we really loved living in, but just for two years. And then it became a stepping stone to the next property, which became a stepping stone to this property, which looked very, very different upon the initial purchase and acquisition. I'll tell you about, more about that in the next video. Thanks for hanging out. If you have any questions about our process, drop those in the comments. I'll be happy to answer.